And then when I applied it, I'm like, nah, nah, sis. Nah, sis, you ain't doing me like that, man. Like, you don't make me look ashy. <laughs> That's a lot to do when you put on concealer and then you you making me look gray. That's not. It's a cupcake, honey. What's up? What is up? What is up? What is up? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are part of my candy babes, thank you so much guys for coming back and rocking with me. I appreciate your love and support. Mwah. Mama Bear over here, I preach it so much. So you guys know by the title that we are going to be talking about two palettes in particular in the Volt collection from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. The two palettes I'm talking about here is Ring the Alarm and Dark Night. Um, these two palettes are the ones that I purchased actually on launch date. Well, the second launch date. I got the Dark Magic because of the green and blues. I'm really attracted to green and blues, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> Yeah, so I was really attracted to that and then for Ring the Alarm, I just liked how it was like really natural and really um, fall because I really wanted like a fall palette. I'm not sure if it ran out or whatever, but um, I just want to give out full disclosure before we start this whole thing. I personally did not purchase her first palette with Morphe. So going into this, I'm going to be going in with a complete palette really good mind like I'm actually going to be judging this off of product and not even off of what she did before I'm not going to comparing it I'm just going to go off of what I received as you can see you will see me use only one palette you'll see me use ring the alarm and if you guys didn't know I have almond shaped eyes and hooded eyes so if you have hooded eyes stay tuned to see how I got cut my creases and yeah so um without me still rambling on and keeping you up from watching the tutorial I'm just gonna shut up now so yeah let's just <laughs> Hey, 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 everyone. As you can see, my eye is completely done, and we're now gonna move on to the second. You already know what I'm using. This is my favorite concealer, the NYX Conceal Carantor Kit. And now that the eyes are primed and ready to go, we're gonna hop now into the palette. We're using the Ring the Alarm palette. I'm sorry, but I thought it was on focus, but it's not. But I am placing this shadow here, Alert, on the outer corner of my eye, and then blending that inwards. And then once I have the color payout I want placed on the lid, I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. And then keep blending and adding color till I get the color payout that I want. Now going in the shade framed, we're going to place this uh, small shader brush and we're placing it directly in the crease. I am again packing the color on and then we're going to use a fluffier brush to blend out the color in the crease. Again, I'm placing the color the same way I placed the orange color, just creating that radiant effect. Now that I have the color pigment that I want and it's pretty much smooth out and blended, we're gonna go in now and cut my crease. I'm using that same concealer from NYX and I'm just placing a chunk of the concealer on and then I'm taking a smaller brush and really going in there to clean up my crease. And this cut crease is literally like a more Instagram cut crease. It's super dramatic, so you don't need to go this crazy in order to get a cut crease, but you know me, go big or go home. <laughs> So once the cut crease is completely done, we're going to now pack on this shade here and we're going to place that all over the entire lid. And once that is done, we are now going to take a smaller defined brush and we are placing the framed again and we're just going to redefine that crease color. So that's why I'm going in with a smaller brush to really ensure that that dark pigment comes out. Once that's done, I'm going to take a wipe here, a little makeup wipe, and I'm just going to go ahead and clean underneath my eyes, which will give me the shape of the wing that I want. 
And off camera, um, as I normally do, I went ahead and did my face and applied on lashes. And let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. We're going to be taking this pencil from NYX Cosmetics. This is in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the bottom lashes here. Now, to give my eyes a little bit more of a smoky effect, I'm just going to go ahead and reverse those colors. So we're going to start off with the orange and then we're going to blend out the orange again with that dark shade. So we're going to look up because that's a good point for you to do to not get the shadow in your eye is to look up when you apply it and then smoke it out with that brush. And then again, I'm going to take that same small brush and I'm going to apply that darker shade underneath that orange and then just create a nice gradient effect. Now that the shadows are done, we're going to go in with the Benefits Cosmetic Mascara and we're going to place that on the bottom portion of my lashes. Again, looking up will ensure that the mascara doesn't get on your actual foundation. It's just a little makeup tip for you. Now that the eyes are really done, we're going to now finish off with the lips. We're doing a super simple, super quick. We're just using the MAC Cosmetics Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Espresso. We're going to be using this as the entire lipstick shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over, and then, um, yeah, this is the look, you guys. Super simple, super quick, super dramatic, super not. I don't know. I'm going to stop rambling on, and let's get back to that damn video. guys well uh, this is the end of the makeup tutorial i guess now we'll talk about the whole review as far as the palette goes and also the other palette too for this palette in particular i actually like the color um the texture of it is really velvety uh the pigment is really good as you can see i'm able to create something very fall and you get 10 shadows for 15 dollars so that's a pretty big steal, in my opinion. Or you've seen 10 shadows for like $45, and I'm just like, okay. They're not too bad. I just think that, um, I just don't like that it's white. It's really, 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 really annoying because I, everything that I own as far as foundation, setting, everything is dark tone. So, um, this for dark magic, for one, I really don't like the name. I feel like when I hear the word or the combo of dark magic, I immediately think like witchcraft, witchery. I think of references in the African community. Um, I think of a whole bunch of things, but what I don't think immediately when I hear dark magic, cool toned eyeshadow colors. And when I say they're cool tone, they are really cool tone. I will insert a picture here and I've been literally guys, I've been trying to work with this palette for a couple days. I'm just like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't I won't I can't I was attempting to do like a basic um, a basic look with this I did not get that at all I got this insanely smoky super intense shadow it's the color that it is but the undertone of the shadows in my opinion are more cool tone than they are warm or neutral when i applied them on you guys it looked ashy on me and i do the same thing i always do with the whole concealer and placing it on it still came out freaking ashy it was so annoying so annoying so much that i decided to blend out the edges of the green just to kind of soften it up with this shade which is shh blending part is all gray and it was from this shot i don't know what happened i i just don't like this palette i originally kid was, was geared towards it because of the jewel tones i really don't have shadows in this particular arrangement or like pigment as far as that goes and the pigmentation on the second one dark magic was not the same as the first it's not the same that one was more chalky given that it's ashy i'm it was chalky applying it when i got the other one it was super velvety like it's super like the texture is so different so in my opinion when they say that they changed everything and everything's the same that's a goddamn lie because the two palettes alone right here that i've gotten and the textures are completely different they're not the same they're not the same so i'm not a fan of this one i kind of just want to go 
like I really don't um yeah that's gonna conclude the end of my review um if you did like this tutorial slash review go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please go ahead and click on that like button and if you enjoyed it so much you might as well go be part of the fam because I do things like this can't eat no little something <laughs> And if you're my candy babes, thank you so much for rocking with me, guys. You guys are amazing. I appreciate your love and support. And, um, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on like I normally do. And let's, um, uh, yeah, I'll just go to the next one. Peace, guys.